Thanks for being here, Ambassador Arya Meckel, Consul General of Israel in New York. Uh, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about the situation in Sderot right now. I just spoke to our Catholic people in Sderot. They told me that uh, another two rockets uh, fell today on Sderot. Yesterday, Thursday, in one day, there were 65 of these rockets that uh, were fired and fell in Sderot. The situation is difficult. And under the circumstances, the government has asked the army uh, to take action. So um, could you elaborate a little more on what Israel is doing uh, to try and stop these Qassam missiles? We have now uh, used restraint for a long time. Obviously, we want to live in peace with our neighbors. But no government can sit idly while uh, enemies are firing at its uh, citizens. And therefore, uh, we have decided to take military action, especially against those that sent the Qassam uh, rockets and their commanders. Now you said you were speaking with the mayor of Sterot before. Um, can you tell us, have you spoken with any of the other uh, people uh, from Sterot, these embattled citizens, and do you have a message that you'd like to tell them personally? Uh, we are in constant contact with the mayor and with others in the leadership uh, in Sterot. Uh, many Israeli leaders have visited them. Uh, yesterday, the Prime Minister, today the leader of the opposition, Mr. Netanyahu. And from here, we have the same message. We express solidarity with them and support. We know that the situation is not easy at all, but we know that the people of Sderot are strong. They love their city. And I believe and I hope that within a short time, we will be able to restore calm uh, to the people of Sderot. Uh, the other day, Israel's foreign minister, uh, Tzipi Livni, uh, uh, wrote an address um, asking the international community to take action. Can you elaborate on that? What does Israel want the international community to do in light of these uh, recent events? We continue to see the Palestinian Authority and its uh, president, Abu Mazen, uh, responsible for everything that is happening. Uh, it is uh, Abu Mazen who arranged a coalition government with Hamas, a terrorist organization. And if they want to be a government, they have to act like one. We asked the international community to intervene and to make sure that these attacks against Israeli civilians stop. And as I said, uh, since it didn't stop yet, we are taking military action. So as you alluded, um, Israel uh, sees uh, the Palestinian Authority, uh, President Abbas, uh, as being responsible for the situation. Is there anyone uh, else that Israel feels uh, is responsible and needs to take uh, action to, uh, in regards to these events? We would certainly uh, want the Arab states uh, to intervene or anybody else. Uh, obviously, our military power is much superior to that of Hamas, but this is not what we want to do. We want to live in peace with the Palestinian people, but the situation has become unbearable. And if the international community cannot do it, we will have to do it. Um, and just one last question. Um, Israel left uh, the Gaza Strip uh, almost two years ago uh, from this summer. Um, and uh, I mean, when Israel left, they had said that they hoped that this would be a uh, opportunity for peace. Do you still hope that, um, uh, that there is room for peace uh, going forward? Uh, we always hope uh, for peace. At the end of the day, we are not going anywhere, and they are not going anywhere. We'll still have to uh, live as neighbor. Unfortunately, our hopes that Israel's disengagement uh, from Gaza will produce a new era uh, did not. Uh, this did not happen. The Palestinians did what our late foreign minister once described when he said that the Arabs never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. Well, thank you very much for your time, Ambassador Michael.